from the depth instant tutorial. Today we're going to learn how to stabilize a boat so that we do not end up unstable like this. Very bad for accuracy nowadays. Now this is a quite basic boat with a basic AI and an engine and everything like that. It's set up to move as a ship and stuff like that. If you need help with the other parts, please check my other instant tutorials. They are made to be quite efficient. So, let's get into stabilizing this thing. To stabilize this thing, we need to have uh, controls for pitch and roll, because pitch and roll needs to be stabilized. You want to have pitch controls at the far back and the far front of the craft. To control the roll, you will place them on the side as far out as possible on the hull, as it allows you. If you have some kind of keel, we can also add roll controls onto it, like this. Now having propellers controlling the pitch and roll will take engine power. If you do not want to use too much engine power, the normal way to add some stability is to use a keel. And you will place lead well, along your keel, and then you will basically move the center of mass downward until the center of your craft. For example, if we do like this, we'll be much more stable than we were before. Now this, as you might imagine, will make you more heavy and a little bit impractical. So it's a smart thing to combine the powered roll and pitch control along with a little keel. So we'll add a little keel just to get some better center of mass. And remember that you only really know where your center of mass is when you have built your ship almost complete. Because if you add a keel to counter the center of mass and before you're done, you might actually have to redo it because the center of mass might, uh, you know, be somewhere else when you put some really good guns on it. Remember to build the keel streamlined so that you don't cause more drag than you need. So, because our mass is at this axis, we're going to add a couple of rollers along this axis, on both sides. And the same goes for the pitch control. We can have two there. And in the quite front of the craft, we have two more. Very nice. Now, we need to go to the AI. Because here, you can see we have a circle at distance. This is the thing we set up. And it says max roll to target and stuff like that. Move that down to zero. We don't want to roll at all. Whatever um, maneuver we have. So drag that down. Then you'll go to maneuver. And you'll see here. Check this button. Allow pitch controls. Ideal pitch angle. Set it to zero. Just like that. And then you go to the PIDs. The PIDs are now integrated into the AI before you had to place down some PID blocks, but the AI has built-in PID stuff. So you'll just click Edit Pitch Controller, make sure it's set to the PID as well as the roll. You just want to make sure that they are indeed set to the PID setting. If you go into this propellers setting by clicking Q, you will see it's set up to automatic control. It's apparently not set up for something, but we want to make sure it's manual, because otherwise we will not be able to control it. So, switch to manual control. So, to pitch up, this will go full positive. So, um, that means that, you know, if this pushes down, we will pitch up. And this is correct. If um, it would said pitch down like this, it means that this would push upwards when it's trying to pitch down and this doesn't make any sense so that wouldn't work so make sure that the pitch up and pitch down commands are set up correctly set to manual pitcher preset pitch up yes there we go and onto the rollers switch to manual control click the roller preset and if it doesn't want to set up for you you can just uh, imagine that if this pushes it will roll right and this is correct. Now we can spread to neighbors and this will automatically set up this block with the same settings as should be. 
Now we need to set up the same for the other side, just like that. Spread to neighbors, and there we go. And the back portion. Also, if you do have your pitch and roll controls at the corners, if you, for example, build a huge square that's floating, then you can actually set up the propellers at the corners for being both roll and pitch. And you can't click both of these, so you'll have to remember what this is set at. Roll right, you know, pitch down, so that and that. And then both of these turn green, and that means that they will uh, listen to both commands, which will make you more stable. This is only a dedicated pitcher, however. Now, there is one little problem that might occur, and that is that your craft is so floaty that the propellers will not hit the water. So, to counteract that, we will also set up a little roller down here that will always be in the water. Manual control. And here you see an example where it doesn't want to set it automatically for us. So we'll just need to look at how the propeller looks like. And if this pushes, we will indeed roll left. So we'll drag it like that. Very nice. And then we can plop it down into the water. Now your boat should indeed be much more stabilized. Which can be quite fantastic. But there are times when this stability is quite not enough and you want to stabilize it a little bit more harshly. If it doesn't really add the settings that you need, you can go into the PIDs and say the pitch is not strong enough. If we turn up this gain a little bit, now be careful with the gain, it's quite powerful. And if you have it too high, your vehicle might start to wobble. But do turn up the gain a little bit and it will be stronger, it will have a stronger reaction to the command. Now you can see here, I did the same for the roll, and it's a little bit too powerful, so it's start to wobbles like this. That means that the roll gain is too strong. If we turn up this to 1, you can see it really wobbles like this. Uh, might not be the ideal for stability. So drag this up to the highest value you can have without it starting to wobble from side to side. And of course, the same goes for the pitch value. If you set the pitch to 1, it will have very strong reactions to any command. If you have kind of weak pitch thrusters, this might be okay, but usually you probably do not want to go over uh, 0.5. And usually lower than this for a light boat like this. Considering the extreme waves and this super light boat, I believe we are quite stable indeed. Now, if you make a heavier boat, for example a metal boat that's maybe a tad bit larger than this thing, uh, big waves like this will have a much smaller effect on your vehicle. This is a light wooden boat and it can be very hard to make super light alloy or wooden boats um, much more stable like this in this kind of weather. But this is how to set up the uh, well, stabilization for a boat, so I do hope it helps. And of course, you can play around a little bit with the pitch and roll PID settings to fine tune it to your craft. The truth is that these settings are very individual for your craft and there is no general setup that is best for everything. Um, I try to show you the most normal setup that works for most of the time, but every vehicle needs its fine tuning. So I hope this helps you make your boats stable, and I'll see you next time in Instant Tutorials. This is Jim Madison, and we're signing out. Subscribe now.